Hi Scorpio, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and lovelies, this is your What The Fuck reading, 24th to the 30th of August. Lovelies, just a reminder that we have still got this draw to do at a thousand subs now. I'm about 50 off of the subs to be able to do this, so if you want to take part, please like and share for me, let other people know that I'm out there, but most of all, leave a comment in the comment box so I can pick up your name and put it in the hat with other people's names. Um, darlings, there is five free readings up for grabs. So, you know, I charge 45 quid for a reading, it's not to be sneezed at, and it is a full reading. Um, so yeah. So we're going to get on with your reading. We've got your current situation, your first aspect. We're looking for your second aspect, your wish fulfillment, your manifestation. And why it may be fucked and I'm not taking that many cards. So Scorpio, your journey, your path, where the fuck you need to be. What you can do about the situation. These are coming out a bit fast, aren't they? What the fuck is out of your hands, Scorpio? And then reconnecting to your true self, Scorpio. How's Scorpio going to reconnect with their true self? Okay. I'm going to take those back and I am going to there's quite a story there Scorpio so I don't know you seem to be a bit complex this week so let's go for your outcome what the fuck is happening next for Scorpio players really Scorpio I don't think so. There is no way under this planet I am taking a whole deck of cards. I'm just not doing it. So lovelies, what started your what the fuck? I'll tell you what started the what, your what the fuck. Jesus Christ, I see, you know, all these cards that come flying out. Scorpio, your mind's too busy. You really are. I know sort of keeping busy is... A good thing but sometimes it's really not that good to be that busy Don is your first your current situation will start with the what the fuck you've got the yes card you've got the Sun Um, you should have let your light shine and if you did I don't know why you're out of balance so I'm getting that you didn't let your light shine you didn't take the yes card you kind of like stayed in this state of imbalance um, and you didn't bring your pentacles back into balance, you didn't bring yourself back into balance um, and it may be that the sun card is there to remind you that you've got everything that you need, everything's fine, everything is light and airy but you're making things fucking complicated Scorpio, you really are and I'm kind, do you know what? If you've got two choices going on here, you really do need to make that choice, you really do if you're balancing two different lots of circumstances, let's put it that way, you really need to choose one and let your light shine. Um, you're not going to please everybody, lovely. You really aren't. And stop trying. Stop trying to please everybody because it's just not going to work. It's not going to work for you and it's not going to work for other people. See your first aspect facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Darling, you've got the two of the homies. This is all about bringing yourself back in balance. This is about your thought process. Are you over-processing or are you under-processing? Are you the one that is arguing, I can cut this field with these knife and the other bloke's going, good luck with that, I'm going to cut it with the scythe? I think that with this particular card, when it gets drawn out, especially when it's in this position, one of your fears is having disagreements with people and one of your fears is being rejected just because somebody doesn't 
disagree with you doesn't mean that they don't like you. And sometimes in these situations, we just have to be bloody adults and learn to agree to disagree about a situation. Now, right in behind that, and I'm getting, this is where you start to stand in your power. Cast your mind back to when you was younger because you have the six of chalices. There may be some reminiscence looking at photographs or a reunion coming your way. Whatever this is, this is connecting to your inner child and it is gonna show you something that's gonna take your breath away because you're gonna suddenly remember something and it is going to teach you very strongly to stay still. Be fucking still, Scorpio. You don't have to keep moving backwards and forwards. Be still. Take a breath. Go within. Use your intuition and your inner child. When you are having these discussions, when you are trying to suss something out, when you're trying to bring yourself back into balance, do not do it on the move. Do not do it on the move. Just take a freaking breath. I told you you were fucking busy. And I don't just mean sort of like with work, family. I mean everything. Your brain is busy. Your spirituality is busy. Everything around you is busy, busy, busy. And I'm getting that you really do need to take that fucking breath. You really, about everything. You just need to step out of yourself and then go within to your heart space and marry up the, the child within with your intuition. You know, when children do stuff on intuition, when children make choices whether they like somebody or not, because something is telling them deep inside, we haven't marred that yet. We haven't knocked the shit out of them and said, no, that's not how you treat adults. But we do, eventually we do knock that out of children and that's the bit that you need to get back to is the bit before people started to tell you that you were wrong. You need to go back to that feeling that you've got something perfectly right. So darlings, your wish fulfillment, your manifestation and where you want to be. Why are you manifesting going to the sun when you've already got it? Okay. I'm getting you've got some regrets of getting to the sun without taking in too much of the journey. And I'm getting that you're wishing now that you've taken more notice of the journey and now you're manifesting to repeat that. Don't repeat it. Find a new pathway. Find a new pathway to get back to where you want to be, but have new experiences. Don't manifest for the same thing over and over again because you will stagnate. You will stagnate. So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, you need to be out on a quest, really, you think? This is a fire card, the two of wands, and this is telling me you need to leave your comfort zone in order to do this quest. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to leave home. I know that your home is your comfort zone, it's your sanctuary and all the rest of it. But it also could mean, if it's not a physical shift, it will be a move spiritually mentally emotionally all of those things are considered to be a quest away from your comfort zone so it could be that you're trying something new out it could be you're exploring something new um but this will bring you back into balance and the universe is saying this is what you need to be doing not this freaking shit with the two of pentacles and not even this shit with the two of a thames because that is imbalance, that's over-processing, this is searching for the truth, this is searching for the resolution of how you're feeling right now. And busy, busy, busy is what I'm getting, I'm still getting that, clearly. It's saying, because you're so exhausted and you are putting yourself through the mill, you really do need to draw down some energy from the universe, you need to ask the universe to come in, to step in, allow the moon to illuminate a pathway forward for you and use your wisdom, your intuition to make these decisions and if things don't no longer serve you, cut the fuck out, get rid of them. What's the point of holding on to old baggage that no longer serves a purpose? You know, if it's ancient history, fucking let it go. 
just let it go, Scorpio. You don't need it. So the reconnect, oh done, the reconnecting to the true you, Scorpio. You've got the Lord and Lady. This is a couple. This is a partnership. There is a decision to be made. When that decision is made or during the decision being made, you're going to look at things from a different perspective. You're going to look at it from a whole new way. Um, and I'm getting that it might be positive for you to be able to see it from a completely different light. Because you've got the two of pentacles, which is imbalance. And I'm getting for you quite chaotic to the ace of pentacles, which is a new beginning around your home, your family, your career. So you've made this decision around this couple. Um, and I'm getting that you've made the decision together. Um, you've looked at it from a completely new perspective. Maybe even made new plans because you are moving beautifully forward with this now there's a completion to be had right behind that pentacle and what it's telling you is put those fucking wands down put them down why have you got a burden this is wands this should be a desire to get to that top of that hill put them down half of them don't fucking belong to you and the other half you've held on to for far too fucking long you should have learned to be able to sort this shit out long ago so with the completion comes a new beginning and darlings the way you're going to reconnect to your true self fully is put those burdens down accept that this is going on around you put your burdens down and allow the queen of chalices water sign scorpio this could be you allow the queen of chalices to help you step into those oceanic waters and heal properly the salt, the elements that it brings with it is mightily healing and refreshing. She holds your cup for you and she then beckons you to come and fill a cup up that you recognise that when a cup is offered out to you, no matter if it's in love or friendship, you will recognise the ones that compliment rather than criticise. Now, the other thing with this queen is, and I think that this is you, you know how to divert yourself away from issues and problems. You don't want to get caught up in shit. You really don't. You don't like it. You, you get unhinged when you think something is going wrong. And what I'm getting is allow your natural senses to divert you away from trouble, Scorpio. And then you will wholeheartedly be able to reconnect to your inner child by the page of chalices who is asking you to connect to something that you loved as a child or a young adult but you left it behind as a non-starter you left it behind because you didn't think it was going to fit a purpose in your adult life and do you know what i just heard this little page chuckling at you and it could be a younger member of your family has got the same interest or the same talent that you had and they are going to show you a way forward now this doesn't have to be an easel it don't have to be painting it can be writing it could be baking a cake climbing a mountain it's whatever makes your soul skit sing allow that queen to divert you back to your childhood so you are able to pick that back up because it will be massive for you at this point in your life so darling is your outcome what the fuck is happening next you have got the horn god he is an advocate for everything in nature and i mean everything that means you and me the bumbly bee the the tiniest of ants the biggest of killer whales everything everything in nature the trees the grass the flowers just have the birds everything everything in nature okay but what he asks you to do is stand strong. Stand strong and stand up for those who haven't got a voice for themselves. Scorpio, you know you can do this. You've got this talent off to pat. You don't take prisoners. You're nobody's fault. But you really do know how to advocate for people. It comes very naturally to you. 
and I get that you don't have to be a loud mouth about it I get that you don't have to shout and scream that you've got this talent but you have got this talent and you can use it in the most amazing ways and when you do that when you stand in your power doing that one thing let me tell you you will come back into balance so quickly your quest will come to you so strongly that you will wonder why you wasn't standing in your power already so darlings you've got the quest card here you've got the eight of chalices this is going out on a quest this is seeking out something else. This is seeking out a truth. This is seeking out a pathway. This is seeking out spirituality, knowledge, wisdom, all of those sort of things. The difference is with the eight of chalices, and I know other people say it's negative. It isn't. It is. I get really knocked with people when they say this is negative. You may be a bit confused about where you have got to go initially, but the sun has got your back, it is beating down beautifully on you, it gives you that warmth, that encouragement, that serotonin, that kick up the arse that you need, your cups are all in the upright here lovelies, your family, your friends and your community have wholeheartedly 100% got your back over this quest of yours, because they know how it is, how important it is to you for your future. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Scorpio for the 24th to the 30th of August. I nearly said December. Ouch. Yeah. Let's not go there yet, eh? Anything else for Scorpio, please? Oh, that one's on the floor. It's an escape, hey? Obviously wants to be read first. Anything else for Scorpio? Thank you. So the one on the floor that flew away is the animal guardian. And this says, trust your instincts. No shit. What was we say? How many times did we say, trust your instincts on this? Really? Three times. This is your third card. Trust your instincts. Broken arrow. And this says embrace the energy of peace. And what was I talking about? Drawing that energy down. Use it wisely. You have winter. Take care of your needs, Scorpio. And then you have the great teacher, Learn from spiritual experiences, yeah, wholeheartedly. Lovely, that's your reading 24th to the 30th of August. Please, wherever you are in the world, be safe, and I will catch up with you in the next reading. Bye for now.